As you start to get serious on your React journey, one key decision that you will have to make is which library you want to use for your state management. In this lesson, we will look at a simple and popular option which is Zustand, which is just a German word for state, so let's go. Here we have a basic React TypeScript application created with Create React App, and you can bring in any React application that you have, it doesn't have to be anything specific, as Zustand doesn't really care. Now our app component is completely empty, which means that if we do npm start in this particular application, we get to see an empty page as you would expect. Now let's add some stateful logic to the application using the built-in React useState. We have a simple state variable called bears, which we initialize to zero, and then we have this function called increase population that increments the numbers of bears by one. And that's it for the stateful logic. Our UI simply renders out the current count of the bears in a simple div and provides a button to add a new bear, which invokes the increase population function. And for the visual people out there, this is what this looks like. You click on add a bear, you get a new bear. Now let's start scaling up our application. We want to show this bear count all over the place. So we create a custom component called bear count and copy this JSX into there so that we can use this bear count component whenever we need to. And just like the bear count, we want to be able to increment the number of bears from various portions of our application. So we move that button into its own custom component as well. Just to give an example of a real world scenario, you can think of it as add to cart as well as the current cart count. An example usage of these two components would be something like a jungle, where we display the current bear count as well as a button to add a new bear. And just like the bear count and the add bear button, we want the jungle component to be usable anywhere within our application. Just to give an example, we take this jungle component and drop it into our main application component. And this should give us the same visual functionality as we had before, where we had the count and the button on the main app screen. However, at this stage, our add bear button as well as our bear count are not actually completely reusable as they actually depend upon the bears and the increased population function and neither of them are being passed in. Now we could definitely pass them to the jungle and then the jungle could pass it into the individual components, but this sort of prop dealing just becomes unmanageable as your application starts to get bigger and bigger. Now, if you want your React Unicorn startup to scale to the moon, this is where you will want to start using a state management library. Zustand is exactly just that. To get started, we open up the terminal and run npm i zustand, and that's literally all you need. Once the installation is complete, we can get rid of our local state variables within the app component and lift them up into their own unique store so we can use them from anywhere within our application. Now we will create this store in its own JavaScript module, so we create this file called appstore.ts. We bring in the default import from the zustand module and call it create. This is what we will use to create our store. Now before we use this create function, we need to define what is the state that we want our store to manage. In our case, it consists of a simple bears member of type number and an increased population function which takes zero arguments and returns void. Now the value that is returned by create is actually a hook, so we store it in a variable called useAppStore. We pass in the state type to the create function as the generic argument. The create method gives us access to the set function, which is something that we can use to update the state. We provide an initial state containing the bears member, which we initialize to zero, and the increase population function, which in turn invokes set and gets a handle to the old state and provides a new state containing the bears count to be bears plus one. Now these two members, which is bears and the increase population method are very similar to the variables that we had with pure react. And now whenever we need access to the bears or the increase population function, we simply invoke the use app store hook to get an access to the member that we desire. As an example, we can jump into the bear count component, bring in the use app store hook and use it to pick up the bears member from the state, which we then display to the UI div. And of course, we can repeat the same process with the add bear button. We bring in the use app store hook and then invoke it to get access to the increase population method, which is then bound to the button on click. And with that, our application is complete, which we can verify by opening up the terminal and running npm start. And no surprises, our application works as expected, and you can click the add bear button as many times as you want to bring Armageddon. Sorry, Bamageddon. 
As time has gone by, React state management libraries have gotten more and more complex. So if you're looking for something simple, then Zeus Sand is an excellent choice. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe for more coding tips and tricks. And I will see you in the next one.